It's January going on February. Get in a game of shimmy, grab a cup of coffee, try not to waste time, and get ready to be bombarded by election posters. The RSU election campaign is underway. Two slates are battling for five positions. Money is a huge issue in this election, especially for Marlon Redley Smith, who says growing OSAP debt worries many students. And the idea of that, of paying for this absurd amount of interest and in owing back this money that, you know, is supposed to be helping you. But in a lot of cases, it holds you back. That's why RSU presidential candidate Caitlin Smith aims to cut the $500 full-time students pay for trans school courses on top of full-time tuition. So we already know that we paid the highest tuition fees in the country uh, and that students are already bogged down between tuition fees, textbooks, rent and groceries and they shouldn't be charged an extra $500 to take a night school class, uh, especially when most of the time it's because they have placement or they're working part-time jobs to pay for their tuition fees. But before she stops night school fees, she'll have to stop her opponent, Carol Paulina. Paulina says he'll not only work to cut tuition, but he'll cut the amount of money the RSU wastes annually. And he'll eliminate the waste by ensuring the RSU splits from the Canadian Federation of Students. Well, some of the issues I'm running for is probably the biggest one would be to leave the Canadian Federation of Students. I'm against an uh, increase in tuition fees. What I do not support is wasteful campaigns who say they're going to reduce tuition fees, but they do not. You can bet they'll be coming to classrooms, handing out flyers, and stopping you in the halls. All of this will lead up to February 7th when voting begins. You will be able to vote at locations across campus. David Thurton, RUTV News.